1996's Command Conquer The Covert Operations Expansion Pack Game Review. Yeah, um, not going to be able to fin finish one of the current games for this week, so we're doing another from memory. And, yeah, um, this is one of those expansion packs that doesn't add a whole lot, but it was a lot of fun. The, the difficulty... You know, with uh, yeah. Usually, when you play one of these, if you're playing, if if you go from Command and Conquer One to Command and Conquer Two, the difficulty more or less resets. You know, the 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 new game starts at the difficulty that the first game started at. These expansion packs, the difficulty often starts where the last game ended and then builds on that, which provides a really fun challenge. And the, let's see, yeah, there was not a lot of, like, new units. Um, yeah, the, the Chem Trooper and SSM Launcher were previously multiplayer only units, and now you can use them in missions, which is cool. There's, the, it, it features seven, let's see how, uh, yeah, seven new GDI missions, eight new Nod missions. And you can now play them in any order. You don't have to go through them in, you know. And it doesn't have the exact same kind of, like, briefings. They do still have some cutscenes. And, you know, this, yeah, this was back when there was, it was a bit more limited. And also, you know, the this came out not a huge amount of time after the core game. So a lot of the cutscenes, it's like, okay, yeah, I recognize that cutscene from the first one. They they change a little stuff, you know, maybe it's a different landscape. But, you know, okay, yeah, the camera movement and the, the military units and what is happening is largely the same as, you know, but, yeah, we it was, it was pretty fun, you know, seeing that and, and being able to pick out what it was that they, yeah. Um, yeah, and it also, you know, wasn't the kind of thing where you go in and the plot is, like, mind-blowing. And I have to admit, I looking at, um, let's see, uh, cncfandom.com for the, this, I had completely forgotten about the Jurassic Park mode fun park. Yeah, I mean, it sounds super cool. I don't know if my version just didn't have it. Because, let's see, it just says, start the game in fun park mode. Um, yeah, it sounds, it does sound really cool. Um, I'm, I'm just not entirely sure. Yeah, maybe. It, you know, it's been a lot of years since I last played this. Um, I th yeah, there's not an awful lot else that I... Uh, yeah, you know, it provides a, a really cool challenge if you played the regular, you know, Command and Conquer 1 or Command and Conquer Tiberian Dawn, as it was retroactively titled, you know, which does make it substantially easier to, to talk about when, and, and, yeah. Um, but the, yeah, um, it, it was provided a good challenge. If you, if you beat that one and then you were like, I gotta have more, you know. And I, I have to admit, I don't remember all the individual missions. If I recall, they did a pretty good job making all of them memorable in, in some way. I, I think I have a stronger recollection of some of the later expansion packs. You know, there, one of these things, you know, you, you open up the, the, you know, you start up a level... And there's like this MIG firing like nukes at you, and you have to work really hard to, to make sure you can shoot down that thing so it doesn't just completely demolish your base. But I'm pretty sure that's like a Red Alert 1 expansion pack, not the not Siberian Dawn. But yeah. Um, right, and the from what I recall, the chem trooper is not super different from just like it's it's basically like the flamethrower unit but a um what's the word uh the the um yeah you know toxin instead of fire 
and I swear I was not intentionally doing, you know, I, I saw just earlier today that there is now a, a sale, let's see, on Steam for, yeah, basically the entire, ah, what's the word? Um, yeah, you can, you can buy a bunch of these different, oh yeah, the, yeah, the ultimate collection, the, yeah, um, which, I believe that's the one I have, I, I got it, I bought it on Origin, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Certainly it doesn't look as though they're listed as being part of but yeah, I totally understand. I'm I'm not like advertising. 100% understand if you don't want to give EA money. I I do not begrudge you that at all. I'm just putting out there, you know, if you're jonesing for for one of these, because yeah, you can you can get like what is it? The entire yeah from from Tiberian Dawn up to and including the the. I can't believe I'm blanking on the the. I, I think the very most recent uh, that it features is Red Alert Three, as far as I can see. Or what? Oh, Command and Conquer Four came out after Red Alert Three, huh? Maybe it. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, you know you yeah you can buy the, the entire bundle or you can just buy one or multiple if you don't want but yeah um, not gonna lie if I didn't already have them I yeah um, but yeah you know this this was released back when Westwood were in charge of the property and yeah there's just I, I yeah hot take EA really did not deliver the same level of quality as Westwood you know this is not news to anyone who's played these games, but yeah, you know, even even this sort of, you know, it's not quite as good as any of the the any of Westwood's own at least main games, but yeah, you know, expansion packs around this time were sometimes just you know not not the best, yeah. Um, yeah, and if you know, if you want more more information about it, there's a pretty decent amount of information on the the fandom wiki. But yeah, um, you know, I I I was very happy to to play it, and the yeah, um, that is everything. So yeah. We'll be back in a week with another video game review.